UNESCO ICT education program uh, includes uh, several focus areas and uh, the first one is uh, ICT education policy development. We're helping the member states to develop the national ICT education policy. And uh, the second area is uh, teacher training, which means teacher training about uh, using ICT in teaching and to facilitate learning. We work at the school level and we train teachers and school principals to uh, have a relationship and use technology that is available in the schools to begin with. 17 million students will receive the tablet PC. It was uh, a, quite a challenge to transform the thinking and transform the, the way the learning was done uh, in a very short span of time. And all the students coming to college uh, uh, this year, starting with September 9, were asked to use the mobile technology device and, and to get all the material, everything, uh, using the technology rather than the books. With us in Uganda, we are faced with a, a lot of challenges. One, we have so many schools which are spread out and with the teachers who are not available. And most importantly, we have schools that are hard to reach, where teachers may not want to go. So I see mobile learning as a very great tool for us to reach out to these schools and also be able to share content all across the board. The two programs which have been run through the NGOs have uh, actually encouraged us to continue and pursue uh, mobile learning, particularly for uh, development of literacy uh, and uh, literacy more so in the female uh, gender. Uh, we have a huge backlog of uh, illiteracy in the country and our experience out of the um, pilot projects has gone to show how successful uh, mobile learning uh, has been in helping um, reading out illiteracy in some of the target areas. You would think that men and women have access to mobile in uh, equal numbers and they don't. If you uh, really look at uh, the way it works, uh, there's about a 300 million uh, gender gap uh, of, of women who have no access to mobile where their um, uh, counterparts, if, if they're men in the same country, would. Uh, so the uh, M Women program from the GSMA with uh, uh, sponsorship of, of key sponsors like Sherry Blair and, and uh, Hillary Clinton and others is really uh, looking at how we can uh, halve this gender gap and, and help girls and women have access to mobile and therefore access to the learning and access to the employment opportunities and, and the way to handle their finances and, and everything. We are trying to make the ICT part of life of the students and teachers to improve their progress and their educational environments in Turkey. I have developed one product or maybe you can call it as an application by which a disabled person can learn. A disabled person can type he can send an SMS, he can make a call just by his thoughts. We have this uh, the project in the World Heritage Site and trying to introduce the mobile learning uh, to raise the awareness of the importance of the preservation. My character de, de director de educación y particularmente mi carácter de integrante del plan Saibal, que es un plan que en Uruguay desarrollamos otorgando una computadora a cada niño y a cada docente de todo el país. We know that partnerships is essential or are essential for for mobile learning. And if this provides a, a venue for that networking and and sparks the potential for partnership, we'd also be very happy. Yeah, we're really interested in the use of a broad range of technologies to support quality education outcomes. We work primarily in developing countries around the world and we're particularly interested in initiatives that could show an evaluation basis in terms of impact of the promising uses of technology. So Nokia Life basically is an information uh, services suite which focuses on uh, livelihood and life improvement across uh, topics in education, health, agriculture and infotainment. Uh, live in India, China, Indonesia, and Nigeria. Originally, um, I led a European project, and we started that in, in 2001, just as the, the first smartphones were coming out. And it just seemed obvious that people are walking around with this powerful device in their pocket, and they should be using it for learning. Um, it was quite hard in those days, because really, the technology wasn't quite ready. But now, everything seems to be falling into place, and we really seem to be moving towards mainstreaming uh, mobile education and mobile learning across the world, really. 
So we have four on-ground programs with UNESCO that leverage mobile technology for teacher development. One of them is the Senegal that we just discussed. It is a program that uses Nokia Mobile Mathematics to first teach teachers and then students on mathematics and science through this platform that enables delivery of the content but also interactive features on top of that. So we are very excited and I'm glad that I was able to be at UNESCO and I look forward to next year I think we shall have something new to report from Uganda. UNESCO is very, is very interested in mobile learning because it is, uh, in a way, in our genes, you know, the commitment to help countries to address the most pressing issues in education. And we see now that mobile learning seems to be a window of opportunity, particularly for those countries which are still struggling with the Education for All goals.